Welcome to our channel. Today, we're going to take you through the step-by-step -step process of manual platelet counting, an essential technique in hematology. First, you'll need a blood sample collected in an EDTA tube. Then, label the tube and gently invert it to ensure proper mixing. Step 1, Ammonium Oxalate Treatment. Next, we add 1.8 milliliters of a 1% ammonium oxalate solution to the sample. Step 2. Sample Collection. First, we'll need a small blood sample, about 20 microliters. This solution will lyse the red and white blood cells while leaving the platelets intact. Step 3. Waiting for lysis. Now, we let the sample sit for 15 minutes to ensure complete lysis of the red blood cells. Step 4. Preparing the Neubauer chamber. While we wait, let's prepare our counting chamber. We're using a Neubauer chamber for this. Step 5. Equilibration. To prevent drying and ensure even cell distribution, we leave the prepared Neubauer chamber in a high humidity environment for another 15 minutes. Step 6. Platelet Counting. Time to count the platelets. Under a microscope, we focus on the central square labeled P. Step 7. Calculating the platelet count, now, for the math. We count the platelets in that central square and use the formula to calculate the platelet count per microliter. Step 8. Recording and reporting. Don't forget to record your results accurately in your lab log and report them following your lab's guidelines. That's it. Manual platelet counting may seem intricate, but with practice, you can master this technique. Remember, precision is key in obtaining reliable results. If you found this guide helpful, give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more informative content. Feel free to leave any questions or comments down below. Thanks for watching, and stay curious.